Hello there, it's the English Picker here. These are my antique centre and online picking finds for probably the last two weeks or so. Got some really interesting deals. A lot of these pieces uh, are for myself, but I've got some pieces for resale as well. So um, yeah, I'll get right into it. First thing I picked up recently uh, was from an antique centre. I paid £15 for it and it's this uh, this chain just here uh, it's Indian style, it's not marked I've had ones like this before um, really nice piece um, so I paid £15 for it just there and it weighs uh, 59.8 grams so I could scrap it and make a profit but I think I'm going to sell it just as is um, so yeah, I'm not too sure. I've got a nine two five stamp, so I'm uh, I might stamp it just on here, and uh, try and resell it in either online or another antique centre maybe. So uh, nice piece. Uh, picked up this little chain here. It's diamond and silver. Quite a nice piece. Um, that was on eBay, and I got that for ninety nine p plus one pound postage. So it's uh, silver and a little diamond, so that's a nice piece. Pick this up, bit of an unusual one. It was described as scrap gold, and um, but I knew exactly what it was. And it is um, nine karat gold, easy solder. Um, weighs two grams, and I paid ten pounds for it with free postage. And that's a really good deal because actually this solder uh, stuff is actually going for between 16 and 18 pounds a gram new. And this is from Cookson's Precious Metals, which is in London. Um, so yeah, uh, really good deal for 10 pounds. Um, I'll probably keep this and use it to fix any pieces that I get that are broken and that are gold. Next thing I got, I paid 22 pounds for. From the antique centre, it's a lovely little ring, um, diamonds in it, and it's nine karat gold, and it's point uh, one nine of a carat, so um, almost what's that? Point um, two, so almost a fifth of a carat. And it weighs two point two, so I've paid around scrap for it. Um, sorry, yeah, 2.25, so yeah, pretty good. I'll just see if I can replace the diamond, and then that's maybe worth about 50, maybe. Pretty good deal, bit of a project for me, and if all else fails, I'll just scrap it, and that's it, really. Um, next thing I picked up offline, I buy it now, £15. It's a little gold ring with diamonds in it. Uh, this way is... Two point five seven grams, uh, but the the neat thing about it is it's got this little swivel bevel thing that says "I love you" on it. So uh, that's pretty cool. Um, probably put that in my antiques booth, and um, you know that'll sell well. Uh, next thing I picked up offline for three pounds was this set of coins here, um, a nineteen forty nickel, a nineteen twenty six merk. A 1940 Merc, a 1912 uh, cent, and a 1917 cent. They're all for myself, uh, other than the 1940, which will just go in the junk box. The others are the date fillers that I need. So, this was a co cool series of finds. There were um, some online purchases. I paid £20 for this, which was nice. Um, it was originally from the Franklin Mint. It's a 1988 commemorative silver dollar. Real nice condition. The thing's open, so I'll get, I'm going to get a case for it. Um, but it's the proof version. Um, 1988S. So, that was cool. Uh, next one was a buy it now. Um, I paid up for this one. I paid 39.99 for this. Uh, but it is a rare one uh, for these commemoratives. It's a the 1997 S Jackie Robinson uh, commemorative silver dollar. Um, 
really quite a low mintage on this one. Proof finish. And um, yeah, I paid £40 for that. So that's about $60. Um, so I think I did quite well because um, they tend to sell for twenty, thirty pounds more than that on eBay. Uh, it was an auction and it was just finishing at a funny time, so um, that was a good deal. Next thing I picked up uh, for twenty-five pounds was this. Um, this here it actually came from Norway. Uh, no, Denmark, as you can see there, Denmark, and all this is in Danish. Um, so it's twenty pounds plus five pounds shipping to ship into the UK, and it's um, Olympic um, 1995 proof um, Olympic silver dollar. Um, this all the Olympic silver dollars are, you know, you know, getting it, finding them on eBay UK is quite difficult. So this is a one I need for my own collection. That's good, and I got an absolute screaming deal. For £12.50 plus £2.50 postage, so £15, I got this again, Olympic uh, one. Um, it's a 1984 S. So I've already got this one, uh, but this one's a bit nicer condition, so I'm going to swap it out and then I'll probably sell the other one in my antiques cabinet uh, for 25 something like that, 30 maybe. So uh, that was a good deal. Again, didn't know why it was so cheap, but hey ho. Uh, then I got these two here, these two coins here. I've got 1886. I seem to be getting quite a few 1886s recently. Um, these were 39.99. Buy it now for the two, so that's good. Um, that's 1886 Philadelphia. And then this is the star find. It's a 1903. It's a date I need in really nice condition, and it's a Philadelphia. And this books really well. So um, yeah, that was a good one. So uh, another one for my own collection. I seem to be keeping everything in this video. Um, the next piece. Now this could be a sleeper. I'm not too sure of this. This was actually a buy it now, but it'd been on for. A couple of weeks, I think it's been on there for quite a while, and and it had been listed a couple of times, and I'm not sure why anyone bought this. Um, I think I paid forty for it, something like that. Um, Thirty-eight forty, and um, it is the Marine Corps silver dollar uh, proof finish, Philadelphia mint mark. And um, the reason why I got it is because it's graded, and it's graded proof 70, uh, deep cameo. And uh, it's in an old ICG holder. I checked out the serial number, and it all matches. So, yeah, um, top grade, proof 70, deep cam. And um, I think for that price, I think it was an absolute steal. So could be a sleeper. Not too sure on this. And so that's about $60, so... Um, not too sure what it's worth, but I'll I'll be keeping that one anyway. So, but yeah, I do like picking up grading graded coins when I do see them. Anyway, back to the antique centre. I bought this job lot here. Um, it was a job lot of jewellery. It was described on the um, on the big bag as um, mixed mixed silver jewellery, mostly broken. Uh, it was priced up at thirty. And I got it for 27 because I can get 10% off. And there's some absolute gems in there, some real nice pieces. So I'll quickly go over. There's a set, little set of nine carat gold earrings. Um, they're nice. They weigh around a gram. Then there's this thing here, which I have absolutely no idea what it is. There's no markings on it, and I've yet to test it, but I think it's rolled gold. Beautifully engraved there and stuff so not too sure there was a little earring nine carat white gold that weighs just under a gram as well so that's nice and then the key find which drew me to the bag was this ring here really interesting I can't make out the marking it could be 925 
but it's I can't I mean it's so thin and I cannot squish it at all it's so rigid so I'm thinking it could be gold possibly but the markings really rubbed so I'll keep you updated on that gold or maybe even platinum because it is so hard um, so yeah not too sure on that that weighs 1.3 grams and um, yeah a bit of a sleeper but the main reason why I got um, these pieces were um, sorry it weighs 1.4 grams uh, the main reason why I got it <coughs> were these pieces here and I've sold one of them already which is uh, this ring here it's really cool it's like a men's signet ring massive with this amazing engraving and uh, lovely details it's 835 silver uh, and it sold for 27 pounds and 40 something p plus postage as well so um, that paid for the bag so everything else is a winner I quickly skim through the rest another massive silver ring there there's this one here with uh, moonstone in the top with beautiful sort of scroll work and then on the inside it says Friedel to Fred which is quite sweet. I think I'll be keeping this one because it does fit me. And uh, this one is uh, also 835 silver. So there's those large rings. There's a little Thailand silver ring. Uh, this in unusual piece um, with the CZ in it. Silver again. There's a little set of silver CZ earrings. And a little amp tarnished amber ring. A silver pendant. And then we've got another unusual pendant there, a little bow thing, a cross. Then this thing here with Hebrew on it, I think. And this price label of £5, but it's been on there so long, the price label, it's actually tarnished the silver. So, yeah, not too sure if anybody knows what kind of pendant that could be. Please drop me a comment. I'll quickly whiz through these other things, little lockets, and then some earrings, and other bits and bobs. There's some other little bits of gold in there, just a bit of chain and uh, an earring, and then this is just a bag of scrap. There's um, 12 grams in there, and then there's this bag of broken bits, including uh, different brooches and stuff that I could potentially repair. A bit of project pieces, uh, tennis-style bracelets that need resoldering back together, um, and there's just over an ounce of weight in there, so that's good. And then this little M pendant, engraved pendant in mint condition. So I'll be selling that on there. So, I mean, huge profit potential. I mean, the big question is that ring, whether it is anything. But even not, that just selling that this one ring has paid for it all. So, um, happy days, really. Uh, just took a chance on it. I mean, even in weight, I would have made money. If I just scrapped it all, I would have made money. So, uh, yeah, really pleased with some of the finds I've got. I'm keeping all the silver dollars um, other than the 1886 and um, yeah so thanks for watching everyone please rate comment subscribe and I'll see you all soon